Welcome to Five Day with Jay. I am Jay. As always, it's amazing how that happens. I always seem to end up being Jay. Hmm. Weird. 2019, before coronavirus was a thing, and Comic-Con happened, Scott Sigler, the future dark overlord, the FDO, in his layer of doom, had a get-together for all the folks that were either at Comic-Con or living in San Diego. Eh, I live in San Diego. Decided I might as well head down. So I headed down to the Layer of Doom. At the time, the Layer of Doom existed in the basement of an old mission in downtown San Diego. If you were attending Comic-Con, it was a bit of a walk, but you could walk there. Given the traffic, that's usually a good idea downtown San Diego during Comic-Con. There, the first person I met, other than Scott Sigler and A, was Scott Pond. Great to meet Scott. Uh, We chatted for a while, met many others that came in, uh, talked with everybody, spent a good time with talking with Scott Pond. Not because... Scott Pond does... um, I believe he did the book covers and the inserts for the uh, Galactic Football League, the GFL books. Awesome set of books. I will be reviewing those one day soon. Scott and I were standing there talking, having a beer, chit-chatting. In walks somebody I immediately recognize. I'd never met him before. He comes in and he starts talking to Scott Sigler. And at this time, there weren't very many people there. This was my first real brush with celebrity. Uh, last time I mentioned that I had met Neil Gaiman, this th- that was just he was signing a book, boom, in and out. Wasn't so much, uh, hey, I'm meeting somebody that I know and I've seen on television type of situation. So the gentleman walks over. I light up and I'm like, oh my God, you're Phil Plate. He smiles looks at me and nods. Yes, I am. I have no idea who you are. (laughs) And and that got Scott Pond and I laughing. And I introduced myself. Scott Pond introduced himself. Proceeded to spend probably about an hour just chit-chatting with Phil Plate. If you don't know who Phil Plate is, he goes online by The Bad Astronomer. He's been on multiple shows like How the Universe Works uh, I, I know he's been on several other shows, but shows based on space and astronomy, I've seen him before. He also has his, uh, his own YouTube channel. He does a lot of that. It was just great to meet him and talk to him and enjoy his company. Um, we actually got to talking about how clusters, star clusters around the galaxy appear to actually be remnants of other galaxies that pass through the Milky Way. I'm the one of the books I'm going to be working on very soon, uh, VNA Shipping Book Four and the Giant Robot Planetary Competition Book Three, which I'm currently working on, both will be dealing with a star cluster. And having that information at hand is absolutely fascinating because of where I'm leading all of the series to the military sci-fi trilogy I plan on writing. It it was just fascinating to to have this conversation with him, and I will be thanking him in the book for some of the information he presented. Uh, Not presented, but we just discussed, just like I said, just chit-chatting, shop talk kind of thing. It was really fun to get to meet him and just talk to him about, hey, what's going on with you? What, you know, and chatting about what he was doing at Comic-Con and the people that he had met and people he associates with there. It was it was neat. It was great to meet him in that kind of a setting. I, I've seen him at panels. As I said, I've seen him on television. I've watched his video casts on YouTube. Learned a lot of astronomy and science from him. And I'm, I'm thankful for what he did, and I thanked him for that. Uh, it was also great meeting Scott Pond. I've known him online for a very long time, so it was a pleasure to meet him. 
as always, it's great meeting, you know, I've met Scott many times over the years, so it's it's great always seeing uh, Scott Sigler. A, also wonderful hostess, uh, wonderful partner with Scott. Love everything that those two do. Um, if you ever get a chance, somebody was mentioning this in Scott Sigler's Facebook page that they wanted to get the opportunity to meet Scott. Somebody said, well, there's the Sigler Fest that happens every year. Didn't happen this year. Happens in October. And it's basically all the Scott Sigler fans get together in Las Vegas for a long weekend and just everyone has a good time. But again, also, if you're ever in town for Comic-Con, Scott Sigler often does invite everybody over to his house. Beverages are provided. Uh, He will sign anything you bring that you want him to sign. Usually his own material. Uh, Again, it's a good time. Uh, Always had fun going down the only thing i've always missed every year because we've always been on vacation was when scott sigler will release a galactic football league book he'll invite people over to help with the uh, signing and packing and shipping of the books i've always missed that i always wanted to go down there and you know get my book in person uh have him sign it in person and uh that and then bring it home and read the ebook because I'm, I'm not big on print books anymore, but I, I do still read print books. Uh, you can see behind me, I got some, which way do I need to go? Got some print books back there. Um, so I still do read print books on occasion. I prefer ebooks, but that's me. I, everyone's different. Anyway, um, won't be a Murdoch minute today. I'm going to record a bunch of them on Sunday. Uh, try and get those ready for release. The next one I'm going to do will be the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. And everyone's quiet and asleep right now, so I don't want to make a whole lot of noise because I will make a whole lot of noise when I review that one. I'm 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 excited to do that one. Anyway, it's late. I need to fix my internet this weekend. I'm hoping this one will upload, but we will find out shortly, won't we?